Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to another episode of Wolf's Havamal. I'm your host, Wolf the Red. Today, we will be discussing stanza 28, so let's jump into it. First, here's the Old Norse for those who want to translate on their own. Then, we have Crawford. You will seem wise if you know the answer and know how to explain it. People are not able to keep a secret of what they hear about other people. And Bellows. Wise shall he seem who well can question and also answer well. Nothing is concealed that men may say among the sons of men. Thorpe. He thinks himself wise who can ask questions and converse also. Conceal his ignorance no one can because it circulates among men. Artisan. A man seems wise when he knows how to ask good questions and how to make good answers too. The words people say, the things people talk, no secret can be kept of those things. And last, but certainly the best, the cowboy. Ain't ever been a single person who can keep his mouth shut when it comes to other people, but try not to gossip, even if it makes you look smarter. Gotta love that Viking cowboy. All right, this one is very to the point, and once again, as I've said very many times, people have not changed at all socially through the years. These stanzas are likely a thousand years old, or possibly even more than that, and could easily be applied or even written today, and you would never know the difference. Here, Odin focuses on a very important concept, gossip. I actually love that this is addressed in the Havamal, and honestly, it makes sense given all the advice that is given earlier on how to have good manners and decorum in your day-to-day -day dealings of people around you. The stanza really spells it out, though. You can seem smart all the time. You can know every answer to every question. People may even know you to be the one who will have whatever information they are looking for. But what good does that do you if your reputation is that of one who gossips behind people's backs? If you're known to be the kind of person who, after hearing some private or sensitive information, you will tell the first person you have a conversation with? Do you think anyone cares what knowledge you have on certain subjects? You won't be trusted to have a normal conversation with if you develop habits of creating drama or stirring the shit pot, as they say. No one will risk being involved in the next issue that you create by sharing their gossip. Part of developing strong and lasting friendships is being able to share intimate details with someone you connect with without having to fear that their words will be used against them or shared with someone else without their knowledge. Especially if that gossip is twisted in a way that isn't accurate or even if 100% accurate, still hurts someone by revealing things they didn't plan on revealing to a wider audience. What I find extremely interesting is that Odin acknowledges that this is pretty much unavoidable for people generally. He basically says, don't do it even if I know you will anyways, this is how you be a better person, but we both know it's gonna happen either way. Humans are social creatures, first and foremost. Even the most antisocial person on the planet will have the urge to partake in some light gossip from time to time. So why even talk about this in a stanza in the Havamal at all? Why would Odin warn against something he thinks inevitable? Well, the Lord works in mystery. <clears throat> Wait, no, no, <laughs> sorry. Uh, for me personally, I think this is on par for Odin. He is known for seeing an inevitability and still trying to fight against it. We have plenty of stories where an obstacle is set before him 
and instead of just accepting his fate, he pushes against it in wise and interesting ways. So, never accept the inevitable, even about yourself, as a thing you cannot address. Be aware of your own habits, and when you notice them, subvert them when possible. There are much more valuable things you can do socially than gossip at someone else's expense. That way, your reputation won't be impacted, and people will want to form bonds with you, and good friendships can be established. And when you speak on things you are knowledgeable about, people will want to listen to you and trust what you have to say on the subjects. Otherwise, what is it all for if not to help and better those around you? Let me know what you guys thought about this stanza and how you think it may apply to your everyday life in your social situations. And with that, I want to give a how to my amazing wolf pack. They have been such a great group of friends to support me through so much lately. We have some grand plans in the future, and working with them on it has been a blast. If you'd like to get in on this, be sure to join the Wolf Pack using my Patreon link below. Also are links to the free Discord server and God art I have for sale. But, until next time, go big or go home.